In this episode, Buster's Barbecue. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Barbecue Travel Blog, it's time for you to escape to barbecue paradise with me for Alabama barbecue at Buster's Barbecue, which is some of the top Alabama barbecue. Buster's Barbecue is located in Robertsdale, Alabama at 22245 Alabama 59, which is about 32 minutes and 22 miles away from Gulf Shores, Alabama. So let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. This is some of the top food Alabama offers in the barbecue category. So our famous barbecue eating videos bring you here for the barbecue Alabama food eat with me feast we will have today. This is one of the best barbecue restaurants in Alabama for Texas barbecue style slow smoked beef brisket. And many restaurants review videos have given this place high praise for their barbecue on their famous eating show reviews. Barbecue fans looking for the top food Alabama offers in the barbecue realm need to add Buster's Southern Pit Barbecue to their list. As many restaurant review videos have really loved the food here for barbecue, this is one of the best places to eat Alabama barbecue and some of the best beef brisket barbecue in the entire state of Alabama. This is a decent sized place and a strip mall. It's kind of a shotgun design just going straight through and they have a lot of great decorations on the wall that have really uh, blinged this place up. But oh, look at here, they've got some specials, but also there could be a shortage. I hope they've got my beef brisket. So let's take a look at these specials. They have a $2 daily beer special, a sweet southern thick chick, which is a chicken sandwich, a pork billy filly, which is a smoked Boston butt on a po' boy bun, a garden salad topped with chopped smoked chicken, a sweet chicken dinner platter, and you can get that in large or small. Next, we have burgers. So each burger is served with a choice of one side. Substitute beer battered onion rings or loaded potato for $2.25. Add lettuce and tomato for $0.50 cents and add bacon for a dollar. Buster's Smokehouse, a half pound Angus beef burger topped with cheddar cheese, applewood smoked bacon, beer battered onion rings, and OG sauce. A bacon cheese burger, a half pound Angus beef burger topped with cheddar cheese, applewood smoked bacon, lettuce and tomato. A quarter pound Angus burger, Angus beef patty served with pickle, mustard and ketchup, and double cheeseburger. Two quarter pound Angus beef patties, cheddar cheese served with pickle, ketchup, and mustard. Then we have our beer list, which is Paps, Bud, Bud Light, Coors Light, Moe Light, Yingling, Modelo, Red's Apple, Truly Hard Seltzer, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Twisted Tea, Domestic Draft, and Imported Craft Draft. And then their mixed drinks from Margarita, Bloody Mary, Well Drinks, Call Drinks, Top Shelf Drinks, and Soda and Tea. Next, we have Buster's Specialty Sandwiches. Each sandwich is served with a choice of one side, substitute beer battered onion rings or loaded potato for $2.25. Buster's Big Kahuna, a full half pound of smoked Boston butt topped with our sweet southern slaw, cat with pineapple, and finished with our famous OG sauce. Hillbilly Philly, our smokehouse version of this classic begins with a heaping portion of tender Texas beef brisket, fire roasted peppers and onions smothered in our legendary cheesy sauce. Southern Slaw Dog, Alabama's very own sausage made in Connick County. Any Alabamian will tell you that it's the best sausage made, and they'd be right. Connick Sausage topped with Southern Slaw served with a toasted po' boy bun. Dress it like the Big Kahuna for 99 cents. Buster's Smokehouse Burger, in the mood for a burger? We got you. With a half pound smoked Angus beef burger topped with smoked provolone, applewood smoked bacon, beer battered onion rings, and OG sauce, and pimento basket. OMG, it's so good. Our tender Texas beef brisket with our own recipe pimento cheese melted on top. Then Buster sandwiches and sliders. Enjoy the one side. Substitute beer battered onion rings or loaded potato for $2.25. A chopped pork, 14 hour smoked Boston butt. Texas beef brisket, 14 hour smoked tender Texas beef brisket. A pork slider, a beef slider, a chicken slider, and you can choose two sliders. Buster's Little Buddies and Senior serve with one side, a small drink, a pork slider, a mac and cheese bowl, chicken leg quarter, hamburger, cheeseburger, and two rib plate. Buster's Homemade Sides, Buster's Baked Beans, Sweet Southern Slaw, Potato Salad, Mac and Cheese, French Fries or Fried Okra, Brunswick Stew, Green Beans, and Half Sweet Potato, and Beer Battered Onion Rings. And then we have salad, spuds, and Brunswick stew. So Brunswick stew, cup, bowl, pint, quart, loaded potato with pork, with beef, with chicken, garden salad with a side, with pork, with chicken, with beef, and combos. And then finally, we get to the barbecue realm with Buster's dinner platters, a choice of two of the sides. 
And then a chopped pork platter with a 14 hour smoked Boston butt. You have a choice of a small platter with a third of a pound of pork or a large platter with a half pound of pork. The Texas beef brisket, 14 hour smoked tender Texas beef brisket, small platter or large platter. St. Louis style ribs, you can get a three rib platter or a five rib platter. The conic sausage with a small platter or a large platter. And then you have smoked chicken, where you can get a breast, a leg quarter, a half chicken, and choose a uh, white meat. Then you can get a two meat or three meat platter with a full pound of meat. A half pound each on a two meat platter, or one third pound each on three meat platter, or a five meat sampler platter. All the meats on one platter, no substitutions. Then you can get busters by the pound with the pork, the Texas beef brisket, the conic sausage, the whole chicken, a chopped chicken, a rack of St. Louis ribs rack, and a half rack. Then we have our Buster's Bundle selection with a four-person bundle or a six-person bundle. And then they have various choices of how you can combine that bundle. A lot of great choices there, but they had me at Texas-style beef brisket. And then the uh, brisket sandwich also looked amazing, and I was also highly tempted by the burger. Comment below if you think I need to come back here and check out the burger. They also had a great selection of sauces, and uh, wow, this brisket looks fantastic, and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, this mac and cheese looks fantastic. This sweet potato looks really great. I'm really happy. This looks like a fantastic plate of brisket. Oh my gosh, this barbecue brisket is just... Just, oh, my, my mouth is watering just smelling it. It's just so full of amazing smoky flavor. They use a uh, pecan wood here to smoke their meat, and it really gives it a fantastic aroma. Oh, my gosh, this piece of meat looks so beautiful. Just go ahead and give this piece of meat a thumbs up because it is such a beautiful thing. And, oh, my gosh, it tastes amazing. This is definitely some fantastic brisket. I am really happy. It's really tender, flavorful, delicious, but it's got a little smoky bite on the edges that really makes it such a great, wonderful, tender piece of meat, but also it's got a little firmness on the outside from the smoking that makes it a good contrast. Oh, whoa, this is really great brisket. Oh my goodness. So, ooh, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up already because it's so, so delicious. If you think it merits a thumbs up, go ahead and click that thumbs up button too while you're thinking about it. It really would help me with a YouTube algorithm and help me eat more delicious brisket like this. Because hey, we all need more barbecue. Ooh. So, uh, I think this uh, flavor on here will definitely justify a return for sampling the burger here because, uh, wow, if the brisket is this fantastic. I have to guess the burger will hopefully be equally fantastic. That's not always the case, but we will hope that it is when we make a return visit later. Oh my goodness, it's just so much flavor. The sauce they have here is really good and complements this beef so nicely. This is uh, definitely one of the best barbecue brisket meals I've ever had in Alabama. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely just sucking down all of this barbecue. It's just really excellently smoked. It's fork tender. It just really kind of falls apart so easily when you slice it with a plastic fork even. Not even a real fork, but a plastic fork. I could really eat a whole lot more of this brisket. However, we still have some sides we need to get to, so let's try some of this delicious looking mac and cheese. It's really, really cheesy, just the way I like it. I love lots of cheese on there. Ooh, it looks mighty fine. Oh yes, they have cooked it perfectly. I'm really enjoying this mac and cheese, so... This is the way I like it. I don't like it when it's uh, all dry and doesn't have a lot of cheesiness on it. I like my ooey gooey melted cheese on there. This is great. Oh, I'm almost out of uh, barbecue brisket though. This is getting sad. Oh my goodness, this is just so delicious. I don't want it to end. I think I could eat an entire brisket by myself with this. Ooh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay. No more meat left, I'm really sad. But we have this delicious sweet potato still. So let's dig into this and taste it and see if they've baked it up nicely. A little sample. Mm. Okay, it's all good, I do like that. So it's got a good uh, sweet potato flavor, so it's always good to get a perfectly cooked one. 
So that entire mill was amazing. Two thumbs up and hey, why don't you go ahead and destroy that subscribe button like I destroyed that plate of barbecue. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about it. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I do work for tips and I appreciate it if you could help me with that. And also share this video with any of your friends and contacts that would enjoy it. So the really interesting thing about this place is that I uh, simply noticed it out of the corner of my eye when I was driving back and forth between Gulf Shores, Alabama and New Orleans. And I uh, just saw their little tiny sign in the strip mall for barbecue and saw their smoker. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to turn in here and check this place out because I'm always on the lookout for a new barbecue joint and not even doing any research, just going in blind. I was so happily surprised with how amazing this place is. So sometimes I do my best to research and find out all the great places in the area and other times it's just serendipity and I randomly discover a new fantastic place. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.